move that off of there. Let's try... What happens if we just plain get rid of the heat shield and do this without the heat shield? Is that is that a, a tremendously stupid idea? Could be. Sputnik 01. See! Save it. Try and pilot this thing a little. Oh, let me see. There was another innovation that I was going to do because that last one was... that We did tried it that once and it was so close. Um... Okay, to think about how to do this, well, here, I'll take that off. Let's go with these guys, make them four-way. Yeah, like that. And I have from the Kylo Winston pack these other, these little Ullage SRBs. Turning it into a monster. That's what we're doing. that. Okay, so these four, like, I want that all to light at the same time. I want that to release. Okay, yeah, yeah, all the, all the SRBs are going to light at once. These will burn out. We'll get, we'll jettison them. All right, Spudnik 01C. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be this difficult. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, what's this thing going to cost me? 10000 now. That's before the correction for the exotic solid rocket fuel. Okay, let's light it. Much more satisfying launch. Angle over this way. Get rid of those. And still accelerating. That was pretty much what I wanted to accomplish, actually. Okay, now... Yeah, let's keep it right about this angle. So you can got some good, some better high speed out of this thing at, at the beginning. I'm liking the looks of this so far. Actually, even try and pitch. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Whew! I'm <laughs> trying to tear apart there. Take a look at what that arc looks like. It's a pretty, that's not so shallow a descent, although it is from high up. Okay, jettison those guys. And jettison that one. Uh, that was a bad idea, trying to do this without a heat shield. I don't know, it, it worked with the other one though. <laughs> yeah, it worked on the other one from a much, much lower altitude. <laughs> Want to get this done, move on to other missions, you know. And on our way back down, there we are in the atmosphere again. I'm thinking at this point, maybe, does it even matter what direction I point this thing? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll aim this kind of butt first into the... Uh, into the the relative wind anyway. So we have... Well, I don't know. We don't really have any expendable parts, do we? Mach 4.6 in decelerating. I suppose we could, like, tumble it just to kind of spread the temperature rise around all over the whole vehicle. How about that idea? I think I like this idea. The Mach number still... Okay, there's our G-forces coming in, and now the aerodynamic effect is such that I cannot change it. G-force is increasing. Mach number... Decelerate. Oh, please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Okay, G-force is decreasing. We lost... The battery, we still have some charge left. Temperature, temperature is decreasing. This may be a viable plan. This may actually work. Let's wait till it gets subsonic. Slows down, then we'll pop the chute. <laughs> yeah, we'll just use that battery as our heat shield. That actually worked okay. It's an ablative battery. Keep an eye on that electric charge. 
If it gets down too low, we won't be able to pop the chute. We're already slow enough. I want to get down a little bit lower, though. <laughs> it's an ablative battery. Yeah, it works. Let's get down below, like, half mock here. Yeah, okay, let's pop that chute right now. Good. Okay. I... <laughs> The whole plan it should work. Who needs heat shields? Just use a battery, man. <laughs> All right, let's accelerate some. Let's get down there. See if anything breaks whenever the parachute actually deploys. Now I'm pretty close, I think, because we're at fairly high altitude here. Oh, but look how fast we're... Okay, the parachute hasn't opened yet. Come on, guys. Open that parachute, please. Deploy the parachute. Rest. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, less than five meters per second. Descent. This should be a nice, gentle landing. And there's the landing. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hide finished goal. Let's finish the mission. Woohoo, we got a profit going. Although that's before I still have to take take into account the the solid rocket fuel that I used. Uh, paltry. We got two parts recyclable here for 267 crones. Recycle and end flight. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that was that was close. Okay, well, yeah, the big reward. The big reward for having finished that mission is once you get into the next mission, the way I wrote it, the engineering guys have some fancy new liquid-fueled rocket engines for you to try out. So, yeah, I wanted the first two to be kind of tough. You have to use SRBs. Uh, but after that, yeah, okay, now now we can use liquid-fueled rocket engines. Still no Nervas, no Aerospikes, no Ion engines, none of that advanced tech stuff. Okay, here we are with Let's Fly Kerbal Space Program, the career mode, the space mace, space race mode. I said space mace. I don't think there's any macing going on. There, There is some sort of racing. All right, uh, so what happened last time around is we fumbled and fumbled and eventually got working. I uh, used some solid rocket boosters to get a small probe up out of the atmosphere and we turned it mostly intact back to the surface of Kerbin. All right, let's select this. Uh, I went ahead and in between the downtime between videos, I corrected my current budget for the the solid rocket uh, the solid rocket booster fuel, which was missing because I was using those modded parts. So I consider it to be fair. So now we're looking at this next mission. For first orbit, the science guys, who have previously been calling eggheads. Science guy equals eggheads. That's the same thing. They've been studying Kerbin's two moons, and they think they know how to make something go around the planet without falling back down. They want me to test the theory with an unmanned probe. Oh, and the engineering guys have some fancy new liquid-fueled rocket engines for me to try out. But still, none of those nuclear engines, no aerospikes, no ion engines... And all that advanced technology stuff. Yeah, let's select that one. Reward of 50,000 crones. Let's do it. Let's get in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to mess around with it, with the external base anymore. It's a really neat idea, but it, the thing, it just, it just flat out won't work. So I'm not going to try anymore. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, I think, I think we may actually want to go with a slightly larger probe core maybe that's uh, about the same weight though isn't it oh like a tiny difference i think i want to go classic i want to go classic with this thing and this is be our spudnik 2 it's because it have a potato battery let me see does this have any uh yeah no other mass requirements no equipment requirements so i can make this look however I want it to look. So that, that's always very encouraging to me. Uh, first off, let's put our parachute on top of this thing. Isn't there an option if I'm in these editor tools, if I do like Alt-R, radial attachment? Oh, yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, sometimes I just forget that option is there, you know? And I want to make this, like, fairly level. Fairly even. And square. Ah! It's kind of difficult. All right, he can he can have a slightly jaunty angle to his cap like that. Okay, that works. Uh, and now, of course, the good old classics. Let's go with our commutatrons. I want four of them. Go like this. All right, just because you know we we got to be classic about it. Classic and classy. All right, it needs a battery pack. Come on. Get in there. Very nice. And we see it needs a couple of lights so it'll look all blinky. I think it needs two lights. Uh, let's go with... Let me, oh, see, we also need, like, just one little solar panel on the thing. Maybe two. We'll make it all symmetrical-like. Yeah, here we go. Just to give it the ability to generate some electricity whilst orbiting. We also need one of my flight engineer thing. Uh, which one else we could? So I could go with this one, although it's kind of larger. Okay, so this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit... Uh, let's go ahead and we'll try and do it with the... Uh, you know, the... Uh, do it the proper way with, you know, heat shields and stuff. That looks pretty cool. There, like that. So it looks all structurally sound. Good, okay, so now let's cover that up in a payload fairing. Uh, we have these procedural payload fairings, but as I'm recording these, uh, the word in, the word on the street is that those things do not yet function correctly with Ferrum's Aerospace Research, although the solution is in the works, but they're not there yet, so I'm not going to use them for this mission. There we go. Again, those those fairings, those come from the, the fairing factory. Really great and useful mod. There we go. Spudnik 2. Save it. Okay, now my plan, as I'm thinking on this, is I'm going to use uh, one of those solid rocket boosters as a first stage. I bet you we can orbit this thing with two stages. And we'll have one of these low-powered but efficient... Um, here we go. You know, one of these little gu little guys for the uh, uh, liquid-fueled engine for the upper stage. One of these, maybe? Oh, man. Hey, let's rethink this. Let's rethink this. Oh, I like this idea. What if I take that... And I stick an engine to that. Ooh, that might work. Ooh, yeah, that, that looks pretty exciting. Although it still doesn't need all that thrust. I don't need a thrust-to-weight ratio of two. Uh, what else? Is there a different way I can do this? Let me see. Here, let's think about this. Let's think about doing it this way. Slightly less thrust. I think I like, I think I like that system better, yeah. Maybe needlessly overcomplicating this, but if, you know, it's it's kind of my thing. It's it's what I do. <laughs> I want it to look cool. How much is this thing costing me at this point? So the whole, yeah, the whole upper stage, all of it costs just four thousand one hundred and fifty, which is not a whole lot of money. And the whole thing weighs less than one ton. Or megagrams, as they call them here. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Okay, so now... And, yeah, the, the bottom stage. First stage. Let's go with... I like these... Yeah, these same advanced SRBs that I was using before. Uh, do you think just one will be sufficient? We'll add a second one of these. Here we go. Okay. Spudnik 2. 
Save it. Uh, do I want to try and do some Easter? Nah, I don't think that needs strut. Well, maybe. Yeah, let's let's try and do some strutting right there, just because I'll feel foolish if it falls apart and I didn't at least try to put some struts on it. You know. Here we go. What's what's the the objective? I want this thing to orbit. I think it'll do it. Let's go. Oh, I forgot the. The launch clamp, what's it? Oh, here, well, we'll see if that's actually, if that's really is. If that launch support gantry thing, if is that really causing the problem or not? So let's just find out. Uh, this looks like it's all, oh, oh, hang on, there's our bug. Yeah, that is the bug. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. Load this up, yeah. See, we put that, we put that launch support thing. And it works correctly. Okay, guys, let's try it. Let me see. Let's do some precision controls on. You know, I never did put any kind of a SAS on this, so it'll all be manual. Uh, but maybe it'll work anyway, you know? Let's go. Whee. All right. Whoops. Okay, don't turn too far, guys. No, I want just a slight turn at the beginning. Not much thrust right off the bat. Uh, well, actually, I say that, but we're, we're already we're already pushing two Gs. Okay, yeah, wiggling around all over this place. Let's not be doing too much gravity turn too fast. It appears to be working, at least, you know. <laughs> Apoapsis is getting up there kind of disturbingly high. Let's see if we can pull this back. Try real hard not to lose control of this thing by pushing too hard. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to limit the control range on those control surfaces. Look how high that Apoapsis is getting. That's kind of disturbing. G-forces is getting up to scary levels, very scary noises. Ooh, and it shut off. Wasn't that nice? Okay. Apoapsis is up there 200 kilometers. Well, that's rather excessive. Uh, let's wait until we get a little bit higher, then we'll jettison these fairings. Yeah, above 60, we can get rid of them. Bang! Oh, wow, they get all chaotic and fall apart and everything. Okay, this one's going to detach, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, like salt, the liquid fuel rocket engines. Oh, those should work. You know what, Toa? Let's extend our antennae at this point. Oh, come on. Hit the button to extend the antennae. Extend, will you? Yeah, so I took them off and put them back on and they didn't like it. I want you to look like Spudnik. Huge suborbital arc. Look at that. All right, there we are. Just passing apoapsis. Put her right about here. Some burning. Oh, look at how little this is changing. I think my vehicle doesn't have enough fuel. I think I underestimated how much push I could get out of this. Ah, uh, well, then this number is changing pretty quick. Oh man, probably just not quick enough. It's not going to make it, is it? Nope. Not going to make it. All right, well... <laughs> yeah, we didn't make orbit. That's uh, kind of sad. I suppose. If I, were, if I were better at this game, then we would have made orbit already. As I think we make, we're trying to make this initial design too minimal. You, know, you, need, you need minimal designs for this project, but... Not too minimal. Okay, well, at the very least, we get to 
determine whether this is a viable design for re-entry, right? So let's, I think actually at this point, let's get rid of that useless part. Don't need that anymore. And do some time acceleration. Until we hit Atmo again. There we are. Okay. Point this thing in the right direction. Right about there. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Mach number still increasing. And this is, it could work, right? It could work. I know that uh, one thing, using these, these heat shields, uh, sometimes it's, it's like they, um, they're too aerodynamic. They're more aerodynamic. The game thinks they're more aerodynamic than they actually should be. I'll say it that way. I mean, it's mostly just this flat plate, a little bit of curvature, but uh, they, they should, the, the heat shield should slow you down more than it does, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, now the temperature's really taken off. I wonder if it's going to burn my antennae off. Wouldn't that be kind of funny? I'd laugh. Uh, I guess not. Nope. See how hot that's going to get. We're still not slowing down. Well, we're slowing down some, but we should be slowing down more than that, you know? That's what I think. Alright, that's kind of drastic. Oh, but it's starting to cool off a little bit. Isn't that good? Alright, heat shield doing what it's supposed to do then. Okay, four Gs. Come on, little probe. Come on, Spudnik, you can do it. You can survive this. 5 G's. I'm still dropping through Mach 5. Now I'm starting to worry if we're going to run out of altitude before we slow down enough, you know? 6 G's. If we get too much further, something's going to break. Uh, I think we're going to slow down, though. That's good. And our G-forces are dropping off. That's good. I want to get subsonic before I do anything else. Suppose I can turn off the SAS, not really doing anything. Yeah, this will work. And, okay, now we're going subsonic. Yeah, or now we are. Alright, let's try jettisoning that heat shield. Get rid of that. And we'll slow down even more, and then I'll deploy the parachute. I wonder if the thing can land, if it can support its weight on those, on those four antennae. We'll find out. Yeah, okay, deploy the parachute. Yeah, it's starting to tumble around wildly. Right about then, big happy smiley face. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like these 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 custom parachute jobs. That makes me laugh. I think that's good. Okay, good. Yeah, we didn't even have the hideous sound effects of all kinds of crazy things breaking from G-forces. How about that? Now we'll just find out can it stand up on those antennae? Almost there. I think it's a cute little probe. I think I like it. Yes! Yes, it can support its weight. Well, actually, the antennae kind of sunk into the ground, but it, it works. All right, cool. So overall, uh, technically, the mission is a failure. However, we 
we did test this. We know that this is a viable design for uh, surviving re-entry and coming back down. So that's okay. Yeah, let's recycle end flight. Uh, we're still got... Yeah, yeah, we st we're, st we're still doing okay on the budget. We have, we're not actually losing money yet. <laughs> not making any. There we go. Yeah, I think when we do this some more, I think the... Whoops, hang on, didn't mean to click on that. I think our first stage is decent enough, but we need more, more oomph, more delta V in our, in our final stage. So we'll work on that next time. Okay, yeah, but we're going to cease right now, and I'll come back later. Bye.